All praise to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I think this video is going to be entitled Concerning Amalek. All right, Concerning Amalek. And this video, this uh, video is inspired from a comment that was left on the apostles' latest. Uh, they actually had their live stream today. It was done indoor ministry because of the bad weather and whatnot. So the apostles did their ministry inside. And uh, there's a guy on the comment board, and I'm just going to briefly go into it. Because <clears throat> I was moderating the Apostles' channel, and uh, this guy was on the comment board. So let's just get right into it real quick. And you can see Apostle Gabar right here being shown in the shot. Apostle Hart was behind the camera. All right, he wasn't pictured. Him and uh, Elder Bishop Sakharan. Anyway, this dude, Yerushalayim Yashawan. And you can see him there in the avatar. Now, normally when you see Jake in the avatar like that, that's normally those guys who don't, they don't, they, they're kind of new. They don't know what's going on. And I went to this individual's channel and it, it appears that he's sharing videos from other Israelites. I don't believe he himself is in a camp, but you know, more than likely he's just a blender watching various Israelites. Anyway, Yerushalayim Yashawan said, Elder, now, I think he was talking to he was talking to the apostles. I haven't noticed any brothers bringing out who Amalek is. And he put a question mark. If you're going to make a statement that doesn't need a question mark. We are slash were taught the PM of Israel is Amalek. Now, wait a minute. You just got finished saying that you haven't noticed any brothers bringing that out. But then you said you were taught that the prime minister of Israel is Amalek. So where did you learn that from then? If nobody goes into it, where'd you learn that? And then he said, can you touch Can you touch on this? Now, what you Israelites got to learn is, especially when you ain't from GMS, we're not going to be, you know, swayed by what you saying on the comment board. And, and number one, it's kind of out of order. When the apostles going into something, and then you pop in and want to know what you want to know about. It's a little bit out of order. And, and just be perfectly honest, it's goddamn rude. But <clears throat> in the spirit of edification, you know, sometimes we get asked questions, you know, whatever, and we'll go ahead and answer it anyway. But this dude is not a GMS brother. He's not an affiliate brother. All right? Which means a, a GMS soon-to-be member. Anyway, which, which affiliate just means, you know, you're affiliated with GMS. You learn from the apostles and elders, you know, and you pattern yourself after what we teach. You're just not officially in GMS. But we still look at you as a brother, you know. Anyway... <clears throat> um, I answered back, I don't have it pictured here, but I answered him and I said that if you, you know, brothers going to uh, teachings about uh, who uh, Amalek is all the time. And I said, if you watch only GMS, you would know that. And then he says, Khan, just wondering why not much mention or rebuttal to what Netanyahu lying about who's who. And you obviously haven't been watching our videos because we always go into who Amalek is, who we are. You know, every time they, if if they make a statement, when Am, when uh Benjamin Netanyahu, which is this guy right here, when he made statements about certain scriptures and he called the Palestinians Amalek, and when he talked about anything biblical, we did all kind of videos getting all over this guy, all right, and talking about um. You know, the uh, <clears throat> the prophecies of the Israelites going home. So obviously this is a dude who's been watching other Israelites and you you don't know what you're going. You don't know. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know what's going on. Let's see there if I can bring it up. Even on my own channel, we constantly going to who these devils are. And that's a fact. Just bear with me here while I bring my channel up and I'll see if I can if I can actually prove that. But the apostles and brothers, even with the Ukraine and Russia war, with the Ukraine and Russia war, we went all into into it. You know, in that that's getting close, getting the world closer to World War Three. Excuse me. And we went all into it. And this dude is just a new hey, guy. Now, one thing that we're not gonna do, we don't we don't do uh, we don't make our videos according to, you know, uh, what's the word called requests. 
you know, like some pretty lady come sit on the piano and ask the piano player, do you know this song? Do you know that song? Can you play this? We don't do that. We go, we make our videos according to the spirit. You know, just because you pop up, you ain't been watching us. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't part of GMS. Just because you watch a bunch of different Israelites and then you find out that we, you know, got a live stream going. Then here you come want to reroute, you know, reroute the live stream to hear about what you want to hear about. Well, that's not going to be looked upon in a favorable manner. But, however, we do edify. Anyway, I'm just trying to go back through the uh, the videos here. Just bear with me. It's been a while, but we have addressed that. And even on the alternate channel, I just uploaded right here. If you look, War in the Holy Land, what does it mean? Going all into who these people are. Right? Evils are prepared, military draft, and the mark. Over here, bit, uh, Biden, Zelensky, news and current events. Went into it there. And on and on. We all over the, you know, we, we get all over the, these uh, people. Now, what we don't do is we don't rebuttal everything that they say because we ain't on it like that. A lot of times when Jake wants you to do that, what they're doing is they want that easy button. They want those easy button topics. Just bear with me, brothers. Um... And what I mean by that is a lot of times Jake will continuously talk about the curses. He wants us to keep going into the curses every damn day. We got a, a lot of things to go into, not just one or two things. And I just re-uploaded from the alternate channel a few videos. Let's see here. I'm going to show them to you. Right in the middle, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. What does prophecy say? War in the Holy Land. What does it mean? World War Three, And that's just two videos recently. And we got a lot more videos. We constantly go into these people, World War Three, who they really are in the spirit and all of that, who they really are, you know, con concerning uh, end time prophecy, which Amalek is the, is the, um, <clears throat> the Jewish people. Just to put it in short, the Israelis, that's who Amalek is. So when you say that we don't teach about them, now you're going off. Man. Hey, you teach about them. We do teach about those devils. And I, and I put up another video, too. Went all into the history, not into the history, into the uh, prophecies of those people not being who they say they are. Let me let me see if I can find it real quick. I went into Joel chapter three <clears throat> some time ago. If you look right here, witchcraft at the World Economic Forum. Went into kind of a little bit of World War Three there. <clears throat> we got so many videos, it's hard to keep up. You know what I mean? But, you know, trust me, I, I had a video where I went into it in depth and not just, you know, not, and, I don't, and I don't mean to talk about myself. All the apostles, elders and brothers go into that. We constantly go into who Amalek is, but we don't always. Well, we don't, I won't say we go into who Amalek is, but we always talk about those people over there in the Holy Land. And then this one right here. Damn it. I lost it. Two Israeli women came up. You know, at camp one day. And we was going into it with them, you know. And I really didn't go too hard on them because I, I, I know they was going to start, you know, making excuses and whatnot. <clears throat> right here. Two Israeli women. It's a conspiracy theory, right? That was a, a video I did from camp. Then right here, two Israeli women in Ezekiel 36 and 5. Hashtag Israeli, hashtag Palestinian. That was just another video in the in the list that we've done on these devils. And we always go into that, you know? Right here. Look at this one. Netanyahu's prophetic blunder, Isaiah 60. And I went into a video where I what you know Netanyahu was talking about. And that was three months ago. So what the fuck is Jake talking about? You just a Johnny come lately trying to control what we talk about, and we're just not gonna do it. Now, you know, he said here again. Just wondering why not much mention or rebuttal to what Netanyahu lying about who's who. And I told him, I said, because we don't give a shit. We are prophets, not debaters. And we're not going to go, you know, try to be easy button Israelites. And what I mean by that is, that's why Jake want to go into, you want to try to use Revelation 2 and 9, them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You think that means the people in the Holy Land, but it doesn't mean that. Some brothers do use it for that, but that's really not what the scripture is talking about. It's really talking about Israelites who claim they're, you know, they're in the spirit or in the faith and they're really not. 
That's really who it's talking about. And another easy button topic that Jake tries to use in error, might I add, is the 16, 19, the 2019 or, or, or the 400 year doctrine, which is false. Because that 400 year prophecy was talking about ancient Egypt. It has nothing to do with America, Babylon the Great and us being over here. But a lot of Israelites like to use that because you think that's, you know, you that's something. Uh, what's the word? Uh, concrete. That the world can look at and see, 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 we the Israelites. You say we're going to be 400 years and you're going off. Because somebody like Vocab Malone will use that to show that you're in error because you are in error. And we've told Jake that time and again. So don't come at us about what you want to hear about. Because the only way you're going to really believe is in something that we can show you tangible proof that we're the Israelites. Like DNA, e E1B1A, shit like that. No, you got to have faith, man. We teach according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if the dark sayings and the parables and the scriptures are not enough, then you can just fuck off and kick rocks. Now, I told a dude because we don't give a shit, we are prophets, not debaters. Because he mentioned the word rebuttal. And he said, Kun, that said, we are also teachers. Well, if you're a teacher, why don't you teach? Why don't you teach, man? Right now, at the bottom, I told him, Salakia. After that, I answered back. I said, and we do plenty of videos about who the Israelites really are. The world is not going to agree with what we teach. This is just for the elect. For the elect. Learn that. You know? And I told the dude on the comment board, which I don't have a picture here, that, you know, not just the, the prime minister of Israel is Amalek, but all them devils, they are Amalekites. They're Amalek. They fit the prophecies of those those Amalekites. And they're Edom, which, you know, Amalek is, is one of the tribes of Edom. Let's go to the scriptures now. Let's first get Ezekiel 36 and 5. And before we read that one, we will read Salakia. I got a couple of scriptures here. Um, this is Deuteronomy. I'm sorry. Exodus 17 and 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Brothers constantly go into that. And I maybe I shouldn't use the word constantly, but we always go into it. And we tell you about these people, the Amalekites, and who they are. This is Deuteronomy 25, 17. Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when you were come forth out of Egypt. How he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee. When thou was faint and weary, and he feared not the Most High. Therefore it shall be when the Lord thy power hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about, in the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou shalt not forget it. And, and hey, we're going to, you know, you heard the scripture, they're going to be cut off. But they're Edomites to begin with. Now, what Jake wants is when these people make a statement, really what Jake wants us to do is go go to the damn White House, line up on, on either side of it, and then make a big protest. You want us to make a big deal, a big stink over it, like those other Israelites do. We ain't going to do all of that. All we're going to do is teach what we teach. And those that can receive it, they, they elect. And those that can't receive it, you can fuck off and kick rocks. That's all. The world is not going to receive us. They're not going to tell us. You know, put them ribbons across us like we in the Miss America pageant and it's going to have the true Israelites on it. You, the Hebrew Israelites, the world is not going to endorse us. Now, we make our videos, as you saw me showing clearly from my own channel, the apostles, the elders, the bishops and all the brothers did videos, you know, but we're not going. They're not going to put us out in the media. People are not going to respond to us and respond to the videos that we make about it because they cut in the spirit. So we just be happy that we know the prophecies and that we are the Israelites. But as far as the world recognizing that, it's not going to happen, bro. It's just not going to happen. And uh, there was something else I wanted to show, but I can't remember what it is now. Um, <clears throat> but Jake did. He came back on the comment board after I said what I said to him. He posted the scripture, you know, from Psalms about brotherly love. And I told him. This is only for the elect and all Israelites are not our brothers. And then he shut the hell up because he's a new guy. 
You different weird Israelites thing. We all brothers. You can, you think you can go out there and teach whatever you want to teach, do whatever antics you want to do, and then at the end you can turn around and say we your y'all our brothers. Nah, you ain't our brother. If you ain't doing according to what the Spirit of the Lord say, you just an Israelite. You ain't an Israelite of the Most High. This is Ezekiel, you know, before I read that. And these are more scriptures that brothers bring out constantly. We ask, as a matter of fact, we tell you that. Let's read it. Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Edom and his purposes that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Now, who do we say the least of the flock is? We say the least of the flock are who? The Amalekites, the people in the Holy Land. And because of them, when it says the least of the flock shall draw them out, because of these people, America, Babylon the Great is going to get into World War III trying to follow behind these damn Edomites, these Khazars, these Amalekites. Because of them, America is going to get involved in World War III. That's why you're going to go and fight. Because you're going to try to protect your little brother, your big brother, your cousin, the Amalekites. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Jeremiah 50 and 45 says, therefore, hear, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Babylon. Now, the way it reads, you think it's talking about ancient Babylon, but it's not. It's a prophecy of the, in the future of um, <clears throat> Babylon the Great or Mystery Babylon, which is America. It says in his purposes that he had purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. The least of the flock, the, the, the worst and the lowest of all Edomites are who? The Amalekites, Amalek, which, you know, the 1948ers. They're the biggest scumbags when it comes to. To you know, Israelite uh, to uh, the the uh, the Edomites, they're the biggest scumbags. Okay, bottom line, they're the worst of all the Edomites. Period. So because of them, it says the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least, which is the top house of the Edomites, Amalek. Because of them, America's gonna go into World War Three or Armageddon. This is Ezekiel thirty-six and five. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, not just Amalek, but also the regular so-called white man. And the Russians are also Edomites. The Ukrainians are Edomites. See, this is a family thing, but it's a family spat, it's gonna, but it's going to span the whole globe and other nations are going to get involved. But what did they do? Let's read it again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. And Idumia is a Greek way you say Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So when you have scriptures like that and prophecy backing us up, we don't have to try to use a fake ass 400 year doctrine to prove that they, they the people of, you know, Amalek. We don't have to try to say Revelation 2 and 9 and Revelation 3 and 9 is talk about them. We don't have to do that in error. We could just bring out the prophecies and them being in the Holy Land just alone, based upon what we read in the scriptures, proves that they're not the Israelites. So stop it already with trying to get us to discuss what you want us to discuss. When the Spirit wants us to discuss these, these devils, we will and we have. You just got to make sure that you find the videos. Spend more time watching. Hey, if you're going to learn from GMS, learn from us. If you go and watch all the other groups and your ass get confused, then come popping up, sweating, drooling all, the side, all out of the side of your damn mouth, wanting us to go into something particular that you want to know about, you're going to be sent packing, man. Now, I didn't block the dude this time because he didn't really, you know, I, I see all of that, man. When, when Jake tried to post scriptures like you cutting me, are you cutting us, brotherly love? Fuck that. You ain't our brother for number one. If you ain't following the doctrine that we follow, you are not our brother. You are not our sister. Just because we Israelites according to the flesh don't mean we Israelites or that we, just because we brothers and sisters according to the flesh 
Doesn't mean we brothers and sisters according to the spirit. Let me prove it. Romans 9 verse 6. It says, not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Meaning what? Just because you are Israelite don't mean you are a brother or sister in the spirit. If we read that in another translation in the NLT, well then, has the Most High failed to fulfill his promise to Israel? No, for not all who are born into the nation of Israel are truly members of the Most High's people. It's right there. NIV, it is not as though the Most High's word had failed, for not all who are descended from Israel are Israel. Right, and even Yahweh spoke to that when he said, you are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. All right, and, that's, and as a matter of fact, um, peace be on them. And you know, I told the dude, you got a lot to learn, because you have to learn that. But see, when you first come into the truth, Watching them other groups, you think all, all every every Israelite is together. You got Israelites that took payoff money. You got Israelites that's being rebased, doing whatever they want to do. You think we we in, we regard them as our brothers? Hell no. This is Galatians six fifteen. It says, "For in Hamashiach Yahweh neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule." Peace be on them and mercy upon and upon the Israel of the Most High. Not all Israelites are the Israelites of the Most High. Some of them are of their father, the devil, as Yahweh spoke about. Let's go to Matthew. Oh, I'm sorry. John 8 and 44. Israelites are not uh, the seed of Satan. The, Israel, the Edomites are. John 8, 44, you are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you would do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Who is it that don't believe the Savior? It's the Israel that's not the elect. And you got a bunch of them running around right now. Jake think this is a thing of nation. We want to wake up our people. This is for our nation. It ain't for our nation. On this go around. It's for the elect. The Israel of the Most High. Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it. And the rest were blinded. So it's not for all Israelites. Just because you wear a tight ass shirt. With fringes on it. Just because you put a damn meter on your damn head or you run around the earth pretending that you're teaching or saying you're a man of the Lord don't mean you're of the fold or you're of the um the sheepfold. Doesn't mean you're of the elect. So you have to learn that. Anyway, that's it for the video. Just wanted to speak a few words on it. All right. And um, yeah, you Jay, stop doing that. Stop coming on the con when you look, if you watch GMS, we will recognize you. We will see you on the comment board. We will see your works. You doing the videos. You learning. If you watch GMS, you would know right away who Amalek was. We don't have to go into it and, you know, address it. You coming on, on, you know, wiggling around with your mouth open, trying to get us to go into that. I just showed you three months ago we done did. And I did another video going to Joel chapter three, breaking that whole thing down, showing you how them people are not, you know, not the people of the Lord. And every brother does that, you know, not to make it about me. All GMS brothers know who Amalek is. We teach that. We preach that. Where the hell you been? Anyway, that's it. This has been Concerning Amalek. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.